Thank you for joining us on THV 11. I'm Sarah Horbakowitz and I hope you've been having a great Sunday so far. Meteorologist Simone Thomas joins us now. And Simone, it's been a nice day out there, a little hot, but I don't even know if we can say that in August in Arkansas. What do we expect for the rest of the work week? Well, like you mentioned, it is a bit hot today and it's getting even hotter over the coming days, which is why we're pushing a THV 11 weather impact alert for Tuesday. So we're still a few days out from it, but signs are showing that we're going to see high temperatures at or above that 100 degree mark. So from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. That's usually when we see that peak heating temperatures are at its highest throughout the day. So the best thing to do is try to limit your time outdoors, staying inside under air conditioning or a fan. Now, because this is still a couple days out, we haven't seen any heat alerts get issued for Tuesday. But again, as we look over the next couple of days, we're on a warming trend. Tomorrow highs in the middle to upper 90s. Tuesday likely seeing some triple digits and then when Wednesday, there are some changes coming as the front is starting to move through, but the timing of that front is really going to make an impact on what Wednesday looks like for us in central Arkansas right now calling for the upper 90s. But if you were following along yesterday, we were also showing signs of the triple digits. So just follow along with us over the coming days. We may or may not need to push another alert for Wednesday, but right now this alert is for Tuesday because we're tracking those highs in the triple digits. If you stick around, I'll have a look at the next seven days your full forecast. It's been almost three years since an Arkansas man died in police custody after a call to a movie theater. Now his loved ones are giving back to those in need to keep his legacy alive. Tonight, THV 11's Rebecca Brown speaks with Terrence Cappy's family and shares their story. We just want to give back to the community and, and honor Terrence. This is something he would do something he would love to do. Every piece of notebook paper, crayons and glue on this table has a way of bringing a community together, but also a family as they remember their loved one, Terrence Caffey. Terrence was a, a person that liked to help people. He liked to give and he liked to like just lift people's spirits and everything. So anything that we can think of to do that Terrence would be like, yeah, that's something that we should do, then we go for it. On December 10th, 2021 at the movie tavern, Terrence died while in police custody. And almost three years later, and his aunt Nicole Ewing are still asking for answers and accountability to be taken. And this is a big part of keeping his memory alive. We're not just going to look at obituaries and review. We're going to actually come out here, stay out here. Y'all are going to see these posters. Y'all are going to see us. It's not going away. If it's a hundred of us, if it's two of us, we're never going to, you know, stop. And even with anything that they want to give, it would never bring my brother back. And. We just let him live through us. Now Crystal is fulfilling her big sister duties by continuing Terrence's legacy through a back to school drive, giving away clothes, shoes and food for anyone who needs it. Terrence actually like used to live over here, went to school up the street and everything like that. So it, it makes us feel good that we're actually helping the people that he may have ran, ran across in life or crossed paths with or anything like that. So it's, it's really important to stay connected to the people that were connected with him and the community of Little Rock was definitely connected to him. In Little Rock, Rebecca Brown, TSV 11 News. The Caffey family also tells us there are no updates to the legal status of his case right now, but they'll continue to have giveaways in his name for many more years to come. The Pulaski County Special School District officially opened the doors to their new health center on Friday. The partnership with Mainline Health means new access to students across the entire district. The facility offers a variety of services with hopes of improving the quality of life outside and inside the classroom. Students and staff can set up appointments or drop by the center near the district headquarters. It would keep students in school. It would keep staff at work. And schools can't operate without either of those students or staff. So if we have an opportunity to keep everybody healthy, then that's what we want to do to provide to our staff and our students. The facility sits right behind Mills Middle School. Classes start August 14th.
And with schools starting back up for many folks out there, we also want to give you a heads up on some major lane closures that start tomorrow morning. It's happening over on Interstate 30 and 630. Some of the single lane closures during the day include Cypress Street, Riverfront Drive, Broadway and Locust Street. There will be some double lane and full lane closures in the area as well, but those will be mostly overnight. So make sure you're being safe at all times, but especially in these particular areas. She is a dangerous San Francisco liberal who wants to do things like take your health insurance away on the job and give it to illegal aliens because she wants to decriminalize illegal immigration into this country. That's just a small tip of the iceberg of her radical views. Close all that was Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton this morning on Face the Nation, giving some of his thoughts on Vice President Kamala Harris. And continuing with Harris, the presumptive Democratic nominee, she's meeting today with top contenders to be her running mate, according to multiple sources familiar with the plans. It comes as a new CBS poll shows she is a one point edge nationally and is tied with former President Donald Trump across the collective battleground states. The new poll shows Harris is leading on the question of cognitive health and among female voters. I think that there are people out there who have been Republicans but do not are not in favor of Trump and would look for an alternative and I think there's a by making a good choice there I think that could help those people to come over and vote for Kamala Harris. Harris's one point edge nationally in the CBS poll stands in stark contrast to President Biden's numbers. He was down five points nationally when he exited the race. Back here at home, check this one out. Lots of people came together to the filling station earlier today to send off Little Rock native Jillian Elwert at a Paralympic event. She's getting ready to head off to the games here in a couple weeks. Yeah, everybody's super excited. Everybody's wishing me lots of luck. Um, we've got people from Freeport, Louisiana here. We've got people from Dallas that drove up. Friends, long-term friends, family, a lot of community support. She's been working towards this for almost 10 years, all to get to this point, and all of us here will definitely be cheering her on. Still ahead, heat-related illnesses. It's hot out there. Now, this can happen quicker than you might think. We're going to tell you how to stay safe and how you can prevent getting sick. Simone? And we're taking a jump to Tuesday to look at Tuesday's highs. A lot of places getting near or up to that century mark, which is why we're talking about a THV 11 weather impact alert. I'll have those details coming up right after the break.